Okay. Uh, human languages has letters and numbers, and program languages has values and types. Okay, so we look at values and types in Python. So I go to repeat. So I create a new one. A Python one. Okay, so we ran this command before. So here this hello world is a value. Okay, this hello world is a value. Its type is string. So to create a string value, we can put anything between double quotes or single quotes. Okay. So here for example, if I just put hello, this is a string. Okay, I can use print to uh, print the string to uh, console and hello is the value and this is a string also I can use single quotes to create strings also I can use triple quotes okay if I use triple quotes I can write in a new line Okay, because it's closing the hello ports automatically. Sorry, okay, it's closing the ports automatically. So it's giving me six. So here I do like this. And okay, so I can create a string. By giving it within double quotes, okay, or single quotes, or within triple quotes, I can give it within triple quotes if there are new lines, okay. So, other than the string another type is integers okay so to create integer values we just integers are just whole numbers okay just type a number okay without decimal places so this is integer value or oh, i can type 30 okay so these are integer values so if i want i can print integer using print function Okay, it will print to it. Now this is an integer. Okay. So don't put strings, then it's a string uh chord is a string. Okay, if you put this chord it's still uh string uh, still print it out. 
I cannot tell it from the printout value but it's a string okay so you can do different operations on string we'll later talk about this but with numbers we can do this operation okay so for example with numbers if I say 12 plus 10 it will add them and print 22 because it's a number but if I do a string okay Yeah. it will print 12 and plus 10 because it's taking it as a string not as a number so what to remember you can just give a value just a plain integer to get an integer number okay uh, don't use quotes okay then if I want to get uh, decimal numbers we can use decimal places then we call them floating point numbers or floats okay so if i want to print this i can so i can create a floating point value by giving a decimal point okay then the last time of number is boolean okay so we have two values in boolean that is true you can see it's suggesting and false okay so if i say true it will be true this t have to be t cap, uh, capital in python okay in boolean false and false okay so that is a boolean value so this f and t have to be capital okay, if i do this is give a run error because this is not a type now okay it doesn't have any type it's not a value okay it's not a string or it's not boolean because i use simple f. so i have to use capital f for simple t to uh, get a boolean type true or false okay this one is simple but very important when you are using if conditions or loops we use these in conditions okay you will see them later so in case if you are not sure of the type you can uh, use in uh, type function so if you use the type function it will return the type okay type of the value so here for example if i use this now this is a string it should be something but to see this i have to use print command okay inside the print command see you can see string okay so here if i just give 12 it's an integer okay if i use 12.5 then it's a float okay if i give true or false i will get boolean true see it's suggesting automatically completing it this why it's easier to use these ids okay bool bool is short in form for boolean so if we i type the type punch function in the console then i don't want how to type the print one it will directly print the output it will directly give the output okay so like this so this type function returns the output okay if it's in console it will di directly display the output if in the interactive mode but if it's in code editor we have to use print to display it okay so also observe that inside the print function we can call another function okay it's something useful about print function okay so that is all types in python okay see you in the next video of this this clear for you guys